Hello guys, this is Kyle from Heliobikes.com and I will be showing you how to assemble the two-stroke motor out of the box. The tools that you're going to need are the two-cycle oil, a pair of needle-nose pliers, a 12 millimeter socket wrench, and some channel locks and some red Loctite and everything else is included in the kit and let's get started so here we are with all of our parts and we're gonna go and start building this thing I'm gonna move some things over to the side start with the bulk of the motor here okay so you're going to take your red Loctite and first of all we'll put our gasket our cylinder to gasket on so that it lines up with the actual engine I'm just going to put a tad just a little a drop just like this, barely nothing of our first stud. And let's put this stud in. I'm just going to kind of hand tie it until it's hard. We'll keep on doing for the next three, just one by one. Mm hmm. And there's one more. Okay, now this is where you get your channel locks. Because we want to get these studs nice and tight, right? So we're just gonna rotate these bad boys until they bottom out and they're tight. Okay, so next up, what we want to do is take the cylinder here and we're going to push the cylinder down, not until the rings pop out, but just barely like so. And we're going to put it in the right direction and put it down. Make sure all the holes are lined up and it should just go right back, right on. There we go. Just like so. Okay. And we're going to tap it down. Make sure that the connecting rod is in the middle. Right? Just like so. Okay, the next step is we're going to take the whole motor like that. We're going to take this, these C clips, we're going to open them up. We take the needle nose pliers and 
set this there's a little groove in the side of the piston right in the hole and we're going to take these and twist and push in if it doesn't get, go exactly in we're going to just you're going to listen for the click okay heard the click take the inside and kind of make sure that it's not going to come out perfect all right we're going to take the motor up like so mm -hmm. this is where the oil comes in and just lightly coat the outside of this bearing Lightly coat at the outside here. There you go, like so. And lift this thing up so that you can get it actually inside. There you go. And then carefully tap in, and that means that the bearing is actually in there now. Okay. I'm going to take the same oil and take the pin, just like so. I'm going to coat the oil around the pin. Alright. I'm going to line this thing up as much as possible. like so and then it should come in and well usually what I'll do is kind of get started and then you could go like this and it will center itself there you go perfect all right then we'll get this last little C clip get it into view like so okay and we'll put this little C clip in just like we did the other one and we will twist and push down and make sure that you hear that little click you hear that click and pull on the middle of the C clip just to make sure that it's in there. Okay, at that point, now you could take this and just pound it down. Just like so. Alright? Try to push the piston down because we're going to take some oil and we're going to coat the inside. Right? We're going to coat the inside of the piston with some oil just just as some precaution just to make sure that you know on first startup that it's kind of lubed up right okay that's done okay now we'll put on the head gasket said yes sometimes you have to move the studs around a little bit what I like to do is get it kind of somewhat started and then you could take your head and you know the spark plug goes that way it goes that way so you'll get that all put on correctly like so and then you'll actually put the push the head gasket down evenly when you do that which is nice okay now we have your actual hardware. So you have your washers, like that. Put one on each of the studs. Do, do. And then you have the lock washer, the black washer over that. 
And then we have the actual whey corn nuts. What's really nice about this kit is that the quality of the hardware is really nice too. So it's not, it's all grade A good stuff. All right. Kind of having to do this at an angle is kind of rough. You just kind of hand tight all of them first. There you go. Okay. I'm going to kind of clean up a little bit. Put the oil away. Okay. Get the tools kind of out of the way. All right. Now we're going to torque it down. So the way I like to do it is I like to kind of do a hand tight each one of them, but do them in a star pattern, so a cross pattern, so diagonal. Mm -hmm. That's kind of hand tight there. And then get a little bit more leverage on it. We'll do the star pattern and just hold it. And we're gonna torque these down pretty good. You don't want to force it all the way, but pretty much until you can't do it comfortably. And there you go. That's it, all assembled, and we're ready to mount on the bike, just like that. Thanks for watching.